back, everyone. Whoa, I almost jumped off a bridge. <laughs> My name is Adrian Z, and we are back on the Two Crafty server. You can see Khan is slowly attempting to make Eyesore Bridge less of an eyesore, but it will never lose its name. Uh, you can see on my bar there I've got a lot of new shiny tools. Did some mining, got some diamonds. Uh, let me get over here to the spawner and I'll show you what they all are. Uh, my chest piece just broke and I don't feel like making another one yet. So I'm just going to go raid the chest in the skeleton spawner and see what replacement chest I can get for that. Uh, let's see, I... Uh, I got a new Fortune 3 Diamond Pickaxe. I've got uh, Silk Touch, Efficiency 4 and Breaking 3 Shovel, very nice. Now, this is my original work pick. Um, I actually got a second one right there. Um, I got an Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4 Axe. And then I also got a few uh, worthless things that I'll eventually, you know, get like an Unbreaking version. I can combine them with other stuff, so that'll be fine. And I got looting three on a sword, but it's with Bane of Anthropods, but you know, you get what you can. Looks like Khan is down here raiding some skellies I need. Let's see what our choices are here. Hmm. Gold is going to break really quickly. Eh. Any chest options here? A couple. They're really, really damaged, though. And leather. Um... Mm -hmm. You know what? For now, we're going to take this. And... Oh, there's bones down here. Give me a bone. And we are going to dye this, because if you dye leather white, it looks like ghetto iron. <laughs> Alright, that'll do for now. Actually, I have a level... I have four levels. Let's see if I can get a level four enchant on this baby. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, unbreaking one, protection one. Very nice. Look at that. I'm in all iron. You can't tell. Yeah, it's just iron with buttons. Ah, get away from me, anvil. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, I think the main thing that's changed that spawn since the previous episode is the boardwalk is heavily expanded. Khan has been working on that quite a bit. I don't know how much of that he'll show in his videos, but definitely go check him out. You'll see at least some of the progress there. Let's go check that out real fast before we head back to our base. We've got some stuff to do today. We are going to get ready for villager trading. That is what I've decided will be my first project. So we need some stuff for that. Let's have a peek over here. Let's see, you can see he's um he's got the boardwalk going all over the place. I think it goes all the way around here now and yeah, it's looking pretty good. But if you want to see more on that, check out his channel. I think him and Deer are still working on that a little bit as well, so check it out. Um I added the tree, if you're wondering. I actually just did it messing around. I stuck a dirt block in the middle of their building bone milled a tree on it. I thought they'd tear it down, but it actually got incorporated, so I you know whatever. You're welcome. Skellies and diamond. I've seen a few. Never got them to drop any. They're all greedy. Um, so you can see we've got all of the different types of trees now. The dark oaks are over there. Um, let's see. I don't think anything else has really changed here. There are a couple of builds up up there and over there. Uh, D and Arija, I think, are building some spawn houses here. I'll let them show those. They haven't released video footage for those yet. And I think uh, uh, Joe the Pirate is... Uh, is he over th there, I want to say? Maybe that grass... I don't know. He's over there somewhere. Um, which I should mention, there are two new... Excuse me. Two new members since our last video. Uh, Joe and Adian have both joined. Uh, their links will be in this video description as well, so feel free to check them out. See what the new, the newer-ish people they they were people who had kind of semi agreed to join at the beginning, but hadn't joined, and now they have. So they're, I guess I guess they're still technically new or whatever. But yeah, 
So now we are going to run into the nether um, because I've done a couple things in there. So let's take a look. <laughs> All right. This is just the spawn portal. I got moved slightly over when it got moved down to the basin. I don't know if it'll get moved again because we've got another hub to build in the near future. Um, we've just got to figure out exactly all who wants to be involved in building it, and then we've got to come up with a design and get it built. Uh, so that'll happen soon. I have no idea why there's clay right here. I don't know who did that. Um, this is the tunnel. I actually originally made this to get to another fortress. I tried to go down below, and it came out over a giant lava lake, so I just tunneled up here. And I tunneled down to where the nether fortress was, and then I dropped down. And when I went to my base, I ran to the, the mushroom island, right? I go into the nether, and I had marked where this tunnel was, but I didn't pay attention to how far it had went, and what I didn't realize is when I originally made my portal, I seriously only had to go, um, it was right below this, I've moved it up now, but I had to go like 20 blocks, and I hit that tunnel, so it was really easy to get back to spawn. Um, let's see, here we are in the nether, I've just randomly been putting my psyllium down just because I have a silk touch shovel, and you know, why not? This is my portal, and notice I'm way up, uh, we are at Y120 here. And this, if you look real closely, ooh, secret area. So back here we have a ladder. Anyway, so my game just froze. I don't know what the heck that was about. I kind of wonder if Skype is doing something weird because Skype on my computer freezes up randomly too. So might have to uninstall that later. But anyway, that's uh, another topic. This ladder goes down to the lava lake. Uh, it just goes down, shoots out, there's a little cobble um, archway to protect the ladder from gas. And then it goes out to the lava lake where I can get buckets and buckets of lava to cook things in furnaces. And as you can see over here, I use the old minecart trick uh, where you get up, uh, you get into a minecart that's one layer below bedrock. And you uh, get into the minecart and then you jump up and you kind of jump through the bedrock to get up here. Uh, and then I used the the dark oak tree glitch to punch holes through the floor or ceiling, I guess, whatever you want to call it. And so we've just got these little holes um, in case uh, I ever feel like going up there and doing anything. I figured, hey, why not? Let's punch some holes in the ceiling. Shoot through to my base, show you my sweet house that I built. This is temporary, of course, but I just took one of those brown mushrooms and I built the wall around it. Just ignore all the cobblestone. We'll get to that in a second. It is not actually part of this house. Um, I just I had birch wood on me, so I walled it off. I ran out of birch wood, so I made this beautiful little wool door. Um, the button is just because I had it, and I felt like sticking it there. There's no more reasoning to it than that. Now uh, here is all my junk, lots of netherrack from digging the tunnels, lots of dirt, and a little bit of cobble. The rest is in the furnace over there. You can see it, the silk touch. I've got a lot of mycelium. I put a lot of it at spawn already. Um, brought some bones and arrows back from the grinder. Mostly just random junk. I've got all of the saplings, um, some clay, some junk. Good stuff's over here. Doing okay on redstone. I've uh, got some glowstone and quartz going on. Uh, this is slightly fancier stuff. And then in here I've got my leftover diamonds and some more random things just to have on the road. But, uh, yeah, uh, all the dirt and cobble is coming from that. Um, I am tearing that down from the top. So that will slowly disappear. Um, I just decided it's kind of in the way, it looks kind of weird, it's not adding anything, and it's tall enough that I can't really build anything on top of it anyway, because it's too close to the build height. And so, since it was in the way, it's just going to slowly get torn down and cooked in my ghetto cooker. Uh, these are, it's currently empty right now, but if you put lava in here, if the light is off, the lava won't move through this hopper. Uh, so you can essentially turn it off and uh, what this does is this lever powers this block which powers this torch and this hopper so when the lever is off the torch is on saying that this side of the machine is on 
When you flip this down, it inverts the torch and locks this hopper so lava can no longer pass from the chest to the hopper or from the hopper to the furnace, which will turn it off. So that's what that weird looking thing is. And, um, uh huh. That, that's there. So the cobblestone, let's talk about the cobblestone. This is, uh, I decided to just kind of mark off a shape for my first structure. I'm going to build one big one here and at least one big one over there on that area, which will come later on. And then eventually they'll get le uh, linked by a sweet bridge that'll go over there. I mean, let's get up just a little bit. Uh, we can probably see it from this ladder, actually. Let's use that. I'll show you how large our first building if is going to be. Let's get up here a little ways. Um, yeah. So it starts, uh, there's a little thing that shoots forward right there. That's what that cobble's marking. And then it goes all the way like that. It's going to go over there and then shoot around here. And then there's going to be a circle on this corner. Um, and then I may, once this building is moved, we'll see about adding something here here. But I'm basically, in some ways, going for a castle. But it's not, it's like a village turned into a castle type thing that's going to be stuff coming out of the walls and all kinds of cool stuff um, but uh, it'll be kinda you'll see it take shape um, the cobble is not the actual wall um, the wall is going to primarily be made out of stone brick and the acacia logs as beams and uh, the rest of the color scheme will include a little bit of cobblestone a little bit of regular stone um, possibly some cyan clay uh, gravel, any of the gray scale stuff, uh, light and regular gray wool possibly, uh, just any anything gray <laughs> essentially, but mostly stone. Uh, the, the primary focus will be stone brick. I've been cooking a bunch up already, um, but we'll work on that as time goes on. Like I said today, I want to lay the groundwork for villager trading, which means we need to do some breeding, um, which first means we need villagers to breed. If we run over here, I have this kind of just, I just stuck a ladder on the side of the mountain. I'll show you uh, one, actually I need to show you two things down here. Get uh, down here, let's see if I can do this without dying again. This is where my second death came from. I jumped from way up and tried to catch the bottom and I missed and now I have two deaths. Whoopsie! <laughs> um, you can hear the zombie in there? Here he is. Now this guy went ahead and picked up a block for me so I sh punched him into a hole and that's our first villager zombie which we will... hi! which we will uh, convert to a villager later. I just need to catch a second one. But I found something over here, which is awesome. We're going to have to do something with this later. Check this out. Look at this cave. This is sweet. This is just begging to have something built on it. So we're definitely going to use this at some point. We'll green it up in the back, make kind of a little oasis back there. It actually goes back pretty far, and this light, which is just super cool, is actually just, there's a hole up here, so it's actually like just the light from the sky coming down and lights up the water. It's got a neat little waterfall, maybe add a couple more of those back here. Um, this goes back just a little ways, but it's a closed little cave. Uh, yeah, that's just begging to be built with. So that's, uh, that's where we are now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go find a second zombie villager. I'm going to try to catch him, and I'm also going to pick the spot uh, to get our villager breeding system going, because we need a village breeding system in order to get villagers to play with in our villager market, which will come next. Um, so I am going to do that. Oh yeah, I didn't show my bow. Hey, check this out. My nerf gun, power 5, I'm breaking 3. Um, I've convinced them to switch the game to hard mode as well. They actually accidentally had it on easy. Whoopsie. Um, but that's been fixed. Um, and so hopefully I can get an infinity bow off one of the skellies in the grinder and add that as well. But this thing, boom, one shot. 
Boom. Very cool. Very cool. So, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go find uh, another zombie. I'm going to pick a spot, and I'm going to get started on the breeding system, and I will be back. Alrighty. Oh, here we are down in the valley. The base is up there. Inside of here, I have trapped two zombie villagers and just turned them into villagers, minus the zombie part. And right over there, there it is, there's a portal, I synced that up so I can just walk in and then it's just like a few blocks in the nether and I'll pop out on top so I can go up and down just by walking about 10 blocks or so in the nether instead of climbing up and down the mountain, which is going to be really nice. And I've also decided that getting these guys up there will be easiest by using the nether. So I'm going to take these guys. I'm going to port them over there, push them through the portal, take them through, pop them out of the portal up there, and then up there I'll be dropping them down into some water where the breeder is going to go. So I'm going to go do that real fast and be right back. Alrighty, we are back up on top of the mountain, and let me show you what I did right down here. Um, I was successful in getting the villagers through the nether. It actually went a lot smoother and easier than I expected so that was really nice and uh, let's see I need to get uh, down just a little lower here oops those are not ladders um, this is the uh, one of the newer villager breeding cells this is a design by Tango Tech I'm sure many of you have seen it if you have watched my channel for any amount of time you've definitely seen it because I have used it a few times. Let me see. It's water. That's the ceiling. Okay, yeah, that's the right level. And so right in here, I totally just knocked a sign out. I'll have to fix that. <laughs> there it goes. Um, let me get in here. In here, the villagers all get pushed to the middle. If you haven't seen these before, the basic way it works when I fix that water. They'll sit right here in the center, and if they breed up far enough, they'll get pushed to the edges like that where they will jump up through the hole let me get my glass I bought it but put some glass down here to make a viewing chamber put that back there we go so now you can see they get pushed into the middle where they will breed and when they get far enough they'll go through that hole and up to the channel where we will suck them up into our villager market that we will make next and now we can see in there to see how they're doing. Um, the reason they will breed is because of the village that exists shortly uh, below this. Um, let me see if I can remember where. You can see the staircase right there. Um, let me go down. Let's see, that's the floor plus one, two. And then that is over here. Where's that cobble path? One, two. I filled everything in from where I went before. Should be straight over here. There it is. So we have this villager here who is down here um, with the doors, which actually might be. Are these two? These might be too high. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I need to drop those down a couple blocks, but that's no problem. We can do that real quick. And, uh, and then this guy. Who I stuck these slabs in here because he was a baby and he had to grow up still or he could jump over. So he's gone. Um, give me just one second to lower these doors. I just realized I built them. Uh, they're about two blocks too close to that. So I will be right back. Just one second. Alright, fix that. Let me just fill in the old hole there. That went pretty smooth as well. I just uh, knocked the floor out below the villager because it was only going down a few blocks. So he's right there, he activates these doors, and these doors are valid because that wall right there that has the torch on it is the edge of the mountain. There's air on the other side of that. Uh, so there is sunlight just over there, which means these doors, of course, if you go this way, there's no sunlight. And if you go that way, there's at least one block of sunlight in the radius of five, so these doors are all valid. And this guy here activates all these doors and makes it a village. And the village has six doors and six times 0.35 
is uh, what 2.1 so that means two villagers can exist in this village and it counts him and says there's only one bye con oh he left really fast uh, so so it says all right all of the villagers in this area need to breed now, of course if you're not familiar with village mechanics what that means is it only counts a few blocks up and down from the village how many there are so it's counting all this empty space here and it says oh there are no villagers but this guy so it says there there is one villager there can exist two so all of the villagers should breed but it tells villagers to breed in a giant sphere that's uh, 32 blocks around the village center and so the guys in there as you can see are popping up their little hearts so we know it's working that's good and that means that they are inside of the sphere and so they will breed but they don't actually count towards the village total and there we have a baby very nice the second baby villager on the server uh, the first is actually the guy down there he was the first baby on the server and so what you can see is these guys bump into each other and as they breed up they will spread out in the water and once there's a few of them in here which will increase the amount of breeding we get they'll start to bump into these edges and when they hit the edge their head will hit the water and they'll jump up through there and so that means only adults get sucked into our system as well which is also nice they'll come out right here where they will get sucked into the middle if you look real close you can see a little dot of water right there and that is where they will uh, jump up if we come over here, oops, that's where the sign was. <laughs> I keep doing that. <laughs> if we come over here, um, the water goes up there. I'm just going to go in here and show you if I can get in. Uh, push forward. Grab the sign. There we go. So they will come to here. Of course, villagers jump when they're in water, so they will jump here and they will go up this water elevator to the top. Go ahead and close some of this stuff off here now. Close that, close that, and you know I'm actually going to put a piece of glass right there just so we can look in if we want to, and I will show you where that goes now, that uh, sucks them up, they're just a few blocks over here from the ladder, um, but they stop, at, uh, they've already stopped actually, they're down there, and when they hit that point, they have a tunnel that goes underneath, uh, it's like right here, and it is going to go underneath our structure, um, which I have started to level out just a little bit. That's what I'm going to do after this episode. Off camera is I'm going to flatten this whole interior area to this level so that I can start building the shape. Um, but this is the tunnel where the villagers are going to come out. Once they finish going up the water elevator, they hit this channel and they will get sucked all the way along over here and into this area and part of the reason that everything is positioned where it is is the villagers that get pulled into this sorter will not um, continue to breed because they are outside of the 35 block sphere or 32 block sphere I guess it is uh, and so they will not make the server crash from breeding way too much so all that's left, um, I need to install an off switch, which will be done over in the elevator part. I'll do that off camera. Basically what it'll do is when I turn it off, um, the villagers either I'll set it up so that they get stuck with their head in some water and they will drown, um, or we can have it pop out some lava or something somewhere along the way so that they just burn to death or something. I'll figure that out. Uh, since I don't have a drop involved, but that is going to take a little while for them to breed up anyway. Uh, this area that I started clearing out, we're going to have our village sorter just right there where that step is, and they will fall in there to be sorted, and then you can see right here I have the wall marked off of where the building is going to go, and they will actually sit, um, let's see, I cleared that a couple blocks too far, uh, the wall will end up right here, and that way I'll be able to use uh, this hillside behind us. I'm not going to clear this part out, and I'll be able to use that uh, for tracks. So when they get sorted, they'll shoot off into the 
the mountain they'll go over and along this wall we're gonna create a room right here and along this wall there's gonna be some trading cells so that if we find the villagers that we want we'll send them through and they will get sent off and end up in uh, one of the little trading cells where we will be able to trade with them and get all kinds of goodies and the ones that we don't want um, we'll set up a kill chamber probably just with a piston or something and they'll get sent off and die because <laughs> they're worthless uh, so that's it for that um, but that's going to take some time so that'll be uh, kind of done in the next episode and off camera and uh, yeah I think that's uh, probably going to do it for this episode we've got our villagers um, we've got We've got a shape for our building. I'm going to get to work on that right now as soon as I finish recording. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like. And uh, if you like mushroom cows, leave a like for them. Hi. Bye, guys. See you next time.